Welcome to Cat Chat, brought to you by Vangos, alongside Sean Kelly. I'm Pete Francis, and Sean, it was a very disappointing weekend for the NMU hockey team. That's right, Pete. The Wildcats came in with high hopes this, this weekend against uh, the Lake Superior State Lakers, hoping to rebound off the disappointing sweep at Kalamazoo last weekend, and boy, was it a letdown this weekend as the Cats got swept by Lake Superior State. Friday night, they kind of shot themselves in the foot with 11 penalties for 48 minutes. They, to Lake State's four penalties. Lake State did capitalize. They went four for eight on the power play, and the Lakers won four to one Friday. Saturday did not get any better as the Cats lost two nothing. Reed Ellingson did play very well on net. He did make 24 saves, some big stops to keep the Cats in the game, but the Wildcats could not muster anything on the power play. They lost two nothing at home. Now, Sean, two weeks ago, the Cats were in fourth place, but they have since fallen to ninth. That's right. And as I said, two tough weekends. They lost uh, at Western and this weekend at Lake Superior State. It just goes to show you how close and compact the CCHA is there from fourth place all the way down to ninth now. And, you know, the uh, Wildcats have to look behind them now as they're playing Michigan State, who's only three points behind them in the standings. Yeah, it's been a tough stretch. Where does the team need to improve? I, they definitely have to improve on the penalty kill, and they have to stay out of the penalty box. They uh, currently lead the country in penalty minutes per game, and when you're playing 41 minutes out of 60 minutes on the penalty kill, you're going to have fatigued players, you're not going to have the correct lines that you want, and it's really going to put a damper on your game plan. Now, one thing to note, Sean, the team was once again playing without Gregor Hansen Saturday. That's right. Friday night, Gregor Hansen uh, did start. Uh, he got two penalties on his first two shifts, and Walt benched him for the game Friday. He was also benched uh, for the game Saturday. Walt's trying to send a message here. The team's kind of struggling right now. If you're going to take penalties, as Walt said, you know, on your first two shifts, you're not going to play the game. Now, next up, Sean, is a road series with Michigan State. What does the team need to do to win here? Well, they need to stay out of the penalty box. It's going to be a tough series, emotional series on the road. It's, a la it's the last time Northern will face their former coach, Rick Comley, down at Michigan State. And as I said, you've got to look behind in the standings right now. Michigan State's only three points behind. You really can't look up at this point as they lost four in a row. They need to play solid hockey. They need to jump ahead early as this team has not won a single game when going into the, into the third period trailing. So they need to get ahead early. They need to put pressure on Michigan State, and they need to stay out of the penalty box. Let's hope they get back on track. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we return, Bryce Burge will join me to recap the weekend action for the NMU basketball teams. Stay with us. Attention Wildcat fans. Vangos, the longest running pizza parlor in Marquette, is a proud supporter of Cat Chat. Located on 3rd Street, Vangos is your neighborhood bar and restaurant with takeout and delivery. Open seven days a week, Vangos specializes in only the freshest ingredients. From the dough to the pizza sauce made from scratch, Vangos uses the freshest vegetables for all pizzas, soups, salads, and specials, and has the best homemade food in town. Vangos, come taste the difference. I just saved $44 on three of my family's medications with the MKS Prescription Saving Card. Stop into your nearby Snyder Drug and start saving with the MKS Prescription Savings Plan. Hey Wildcat fans, for the latest news, updates, and online exclusives, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash NMU Cat Chat. I'm DeAndre Taylor and you're watching Cat Chat. Welcome back. Joining me now is Bryce Burge to talk some NMU hoops. And the men's team hit the road and once again suffered some tough losses. Yes, they did. They lost 77-69 to against Wayne State and then 86-65 to against the Finlay Oilers. Big Cat Jared Benson was the team's leading scorer again throughout the weekend, scoring 30 points combined in the two games. But the Warriors and the Oilers are both nationally ranked and they're both regionally ranked as well to make the NCAA tournament. So they're both two tough losses, putting the Wildcats now at 2-12 in the GLIAC and 7-14 and overall. 
but that road pairing of the Warriors and the Oilers are going to be tough for any, any team in the conference. Now on the women's side, they split this weekend. Yeah, but not the way that you would think. Wayne State's the weaker team out of the two, especially after losing five players, two to injury, three to disciplinary reasons, but they lost by two on a last-second layup from a player who hadn't scored any points previously in that game. Uh, so that was a big heartbreak, especially after that NCAA being on the wrong side of the NCAA comeback record against Northwood last weekend. But then they turned it around, and they were led by Chelsea Lyons, who got the double-double in the victory against the GLIAC South leading Finlay Oilers 68-55. Is there anything from the play this weekend that stood out to you? Yes, and it was on the women's side, it was basically Hillary Bowling. She's been out for the last three games uh, before this weekend set uh, with an arm injury that she received against Grand Valley, but she played 22 minutes against Wayne State and then started against Finlay for 20 points, uh, shooting 88% from the floor against the Oilers and was a very key part of that victory. Now, next up for the teams, they stay on the road as they head to Lake State. Yes, they will be facing two good programs as the Lakers are 7-7th and seventh in the 6th spot uh, in the GLIAC for the men. And the women's side is pretty much the most underrated team in all of women's collegiate basketball. They are a great team, 11-3 uh, and three in conference and in region. Uh, but for the men, on the men's side, they're going to have to shut down guard Kyle Hunt. Uh, he hit 20 points in the first matchup between these two teams, and that's going to be a big deal. Uh, to stop him. On the women's side, you're going to want to try to uh, keep that good shooting momentum that they had down in Ohio. Uh, but once all that stuff gets squared away, it should be a pretty clear playoff picture for the rest of the way. And I know until then, we're going to put up, it's been a long time since I've written an article for the website. On Tuesday at noon, we're going to put up an article about the playoff pictures for both basketball teams and hockey as they start to head down the stretch. All right, you can check that out on catchattv.org. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have results from Club Lacrosse at the Dome, as well as the rest of the varsity sports this weekend. Stay tuned. Attention Wildcat fans. Vango's, the longest-running pizza parlor in Marquette, is a proud supporter of Cat Chat. Located on 3rd Street, Vango's is your neighborhood bar and restaurant with takeout and delivery. Open seven days a week, Vango's specializes in only the freshest ingredients. From the dough to the pizza sauce made from scratch, Vango's uses the freshest vegetables for all pizzas, soups, salads, and specials, and has the best homemade food in town. Vango's, come taste the difference. Can't make the big game? Well, Cat Chat's got you covered with live updates from NMU Home Games on Twitter. Follow us today at twitter.com slash NMU Cat Chat. Welcome back. Still joining me is Bryce Burge. Now, Bryce, the NMU Club Lacrosse team was in action this weekend at the Dome. How did things go? Well, they split their games. They're only two home games for the season as uh, this weekend was the start of the Club Lacrosse season across the country. And with the Dome, they're able to play inside. Uh, they lost their first game to their big rival, Wisconsin Eau Claire, 15-11, uh, losing their first home game in three years uh, but they were able to respond quickly with a game later that night against Northwood where they won 14 to 4. Uh, that's a big deal because the way that their conference is set up the CCLA they have four divisions and Northwood is a division team so with this game they only need to win one more divisional game to make the playoffs. Now as well uh, Cat Chat's own field reporter, Luke Woolley, plays on the team. Uh, we got a clip here of a guy shooting a goal for the Wildcats, and he was on the team on the field that, at that time uh, being a good enforcer role as he uh, knocked some skulls on that lacrosse field. So it was pretty good, and they don't play uh, again until Davenport next month. Now back to the varsity sports, track and field finished third this weekend. They did. They, play, uh, they finished third at the Pointer Invitational at uh, one of the UW schools. They, uh, but the big story there is that they continue to break records. Bailey Franklin broke both the 55 dash and the 55 hurdles. Uh, pretty much half of NMU school records have been broken so far this season in the indoor, uh, in the indoor grouping of track and field uh, as they have both indoor and outdoor seasons. Uh, the Wildcats, they have never gone down. They've never had a rebuilding year since they've restarted the program back in 97, and they've done a good job so far as establishing themselves as one of the top programs in the country. 
Now, another team looking to continue their success are the Nordic ski teams. Yes, they will be preparing. Uh, they took this week off as they are prepared for the CCSA Championships. That's the Central Collegiate Skiing Association Championships. Uh, but it will be held at Northern at the Alqual Recreational Area in Ishpeming. It will be a the last home meet for the cross-country skiers uh, next Saturday. Uh, the Wildcats are looking to uh, continue their victories off of the latest Super Tour, a two-weekend event that they were able to bring home the championship from. So NMU should be the favorite in this matchup against teams like Michigan Tech and UW-Green Bay. Well, hopefully the Wildcats can bring home a conference championship this year. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's edition of the show for Bryce Burge and the entire Cat Chat crew. I'm Pete Francis. Until next time, go Cats.